Welcome back to the B17 vlog number three. Today, we're gonna take a look at what's new because I can't remember, so I have to actually get in the bomber and try it. So let's get to it. So this is the B17 in its current form. Uh, last time, I think we took a look at the ball turret and some of the other turrets, maybe the front turret, and checked out how they were working. Today, we're gonna go ahead and check out the bombarder section, the bombarder compartment which is in the very front, in the bottom. Bottom front, yeah, you know, the glass nose. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out and see how far we've come with that. I think that'll be it today. I don't think there's anything else new. I think I was just working on that. I guess the autopilot is part of that whole thing. So let's go ahead and get into the front. Radio room still a mess. Uh, we did go, I don't know if we talked about this last time, we did go with the bombs eight and eight. So we have 16 bombs. The only thing I don't like about them is when they fall out, they fall out too close together so yeah so i'm kind of wondering what i can do to break them up i can break them up by like limiting less bombs but i don't really want to do it that way and i thought about making it go in and out in and out trying to like have it uh stutter the bomb stutter i don't know if that's the right word but you know what i mean so that they were kind of not all together i don't know though might do that later but for now let's just get the thing working so uh, let's go ahead and uh, skip the whole part of starting the engine and get it into the air because what I want to show you is the bombarder and because I have to do this video probably all over again from start to finish every compartment I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to what's new and then in a later video we'll go ahead and go tour the whole thing and go through step by step all the uh, you know junk that we have going on here so uh, let's get into the air Alright, so we are starting up the last engine, and what I did change that I forgot to tell you about is the uh, primer will now cycle, because it's kind of hard to touch this little button here, you can touch it right there, but I thought, you know what, if I just make it so you can touch this one and you can cycle it, that'll make it much easier to get started. I've also added the flood indicators, so if you primer it too much, it will, uh, or prime it, is it primer or prime it? I'm not too sure. But whichever it is, if you prime it too much, the engine that is, uh, the light will come on and it will indicate that you fled the engine. Then you can just shut it down and wait for the white light to go off and then try again. Alright, so I think we're done. Let's go ahead and get into the air. Let's see here. Uh, we want to go ahead and hit number two. That will do our prop pitch. We want to release the brake. And then we're just going to go ahead and take off and get into the air. Alright, so down here, oh, I can't hear myself, but down here we have a autopilot. I'm just going to set it to a thousand feet. And we're going to slow this thing down. Alright, now let's turn down the engine. It's way loud for me. Alright, that's much better. I don't know, it was way loud, so uh, I don't know if I was yelling or not, but it was <laughs> really hard to hear. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn towards this island and roughly line up with it. Alright, now we're going to turn on the second autopilot, which is the heading hold. Uh, heading hold. Okay, now with that out of the way, we can go down to the bombarder compartment. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that. I just liked how it looked. But uh, we're going to go ahead and sit and see. Now, so we have the new bomb site, which is very cool. Kind of gives it a blur on the edge. And then we have our target, which is right there. So we're going to go ahead and open up the bomb bay. See that open right there. Oh, we still have our landing gear down. Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and put it into program number three, which will drop uh, one set of bombs. A next set of bombs, a next set of bombs. And then it's on a one second delay, and then we're gonna arm the bombs. Cool! Alright, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and look where we're at. Okay, so when you're in autopilot on the heading and the altitude, you can go ahead and click the right arrow or left arrow, 
and you'll see that white light come on. And we're changing the heading to 201, 202, and we're just gonna tweak our, our heading until we line up with our target. Now, we're kind of cheating because we have that nice little thing there. And oh, you know what I didn't hook up yet? I don't think I hooked it up. There is another camera that I want to use for seeing kind of ahead. So you'll be able to switch between the bombing camera and then another camera that looks forward. But I didn't hook that up because I didn't know if I liked it or not. And I think I forgot. So let's go ahead and go ahead and tweak. That's looking good, huh? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so this is using, oh, I don't know what it's by. I think it's by Lucas, which is a physics bomb predictor. It kind of predicts where your bombs are going to land based on the cam, or based on the speed and the altitude. So we're going to get ready to hit number five here. And there we go. It's lined up. And dropping. Okay. Let's see. There we go. I don't have Penguin's thing on because you have to load it a different way. But there we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Usually they don't get stuck inside. Oh, it got stuck. Oh, it looks like they fell off. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, well. So we dropped the bombs. So what's cool about this... I'm going to just shut this up with the bombs inside going crazy. Boop. Uh, what's cool about this is the microcontroller is using the altitude and the speed to adjust the angle of the camera. Well, actually, it's not this camera, is it? It's actually down right here. So here's the bombing camera. So how this works is based on the altitude and the speed, he's calculated that the bomb is dropping from basically this point right here. And that camera angle, what it's looking at is where the bombs are going to land. Now, it's not perfect but it's pretty darn good at getting you almost on the target. And uh, this camera right here, or this viewfinder right here, is connected to that camera, but I also have a camera... Wow, look, there's another bomb. Uh, I also have a camera right here in the front that is using the same angle, but I think it's off. I can't switch it right now because I don't have it hooked up. Oops, that's not that. That's the, uh, the gun. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is hook it up so you can see out of the front camera and that will give you kind of a wider field of view, so you can see what's ahead of you out there. And then you can switch to your bombing camera when it comes, you know, below you, or starts coming below you. So this is a bombardment compartment and a navigator right there. And I think I'm kind of done. I don't know about this. I kind of like this, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. The giant digital numbers doesn't seem like a good idea. But this is cool, right? Look at that nice little blur area there. And, uh, yeah. So I will be releasing components like this viewfinder and anything else that I have. I don't think I have too many things that are very useful on this bomber that I can release, but definitely going to release that uh, bomb finder, bomb site. And then, of course, you know we should have put the uh, landing gear up. I'll put them up now. And there we go. Okay, the back's broken. That's interesting. Hmm, I wonder why. Must have unhooked some power when I was redoing the wires. But uh, yeah, that is it for right now. Um, I'm thinking, I'm pondering about redoing the bomber one more time, which means complete redo. I'm not really, really happy with this. Uh, so I don't know. We shall see. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's really roomy. I like the cockpit, but I don't know. I go back and forth. Um, so let me know what you think. Should I release this bomber and then redo it? Or should I just redo this bomber and uh, not release this version? You let me know. I'm, I'm curious to <laughs> see what you think. I go back and forth. When things bug me, uh, I kind of go crazy. I don't really like the body. I don't know that I can squeeze it down, but uh, I don't know. I go back and forth. Anyway, that's it for today. If you've done so already, go ahead and hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Oh, you know what? Another thing. Should I redo the engines with the uh, modular engines? I was pondering that too. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I go back and forth on that because I don't know if I can make it work the way I want to. So anyways, what was I saying? I was saying <laughs> that's it for today. 
If you haven't done so already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next week again for another vlog. Or will we do something different? I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what I decide to do with this plane. If I decide to finish it off or, uh, you know, redo it. So, I'll see you next time. Dramatic flyby.